Mastering English. Daily routines in different contexts. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting topic. Discussing daily routines in different contexts. We'll particularly focus on three major contexts, work, school, and weekends. By the end of this video, you will not only expand your vocabulary but also gain confidence to talk about your daily routines in various situations. Firstly, let's dive into the world of work. We spend a large portion of our day at work, so it's no surprise that a lot of our daily routine revolves around it. Phrase 1. Getting to work. It's about how you commute. For example, I drive to work, or, I take the subway to work. Phrase 2. Catching up on emails. Many of us start our workday by going through our inbox. Phrase 3. Attending meetings. This phrase can be adapted to your situation, like, I have a video call with my team, or, I have a meeting with clients. Remember, the key is to practice these phrases, adjust them to your routine, and use them as often as you can. Next, let's shift gears and talk about school. Whether you're a student or a teacher, school environments are a big part of many people's lives. Phrase 1, going to class. You might say, I go to biology class in the morning, or, I attend online classes. Phrase 2, studying or preparing for exams. This can take many forms like, I'm studying for a math test, or, I'm preparing my presentation for English class. Phrase 3, doing homework. This is a common part of school life. For example, I do my homework after dinner, or, I finish my assignments over the weekend. Again, the goal is to make these phrases a part of your regular English conversation. Finally, let's discuss weekends. Weekends are a great time to relax, enjoy hobbies, or spend time with family and friends. Phrase 1. Sleeping in. Many of us enjoy some extra sleep on weekends. So, you might say, I usually sleep in on Saturdays, or, I like to catch up on sleep over the weekend. Phrase 2. Running errands. This might include grocery shopping, cleaning, or doing laundry. Phrase 3. Catching up on. Activity. This could be any hobby or activity you enjoy, like reading, watching movies, or hiking. Just as before, practice these phrases, modify them to fit your lifestyle, and try to use them in your English conversations. And that's a wrap for today's video. We hope you found these phrases helpful and that they'll assist you in talking about your daily routines in different contexts. Remember, the key to mastering any language is consistent practice. Keep practicing these phrases and tune in for more language learning tips. Happy learning!